have 12 books to talk about, so let's jump into it. what's up hope you're good so today we're here to talk about all the books i have read in september and october 12 in total so let's just check the first stats as usual and it's very cozy way okay so we can be a bit chatty but i think in november i have read one two three four five six seven books and they are four five in october that's interesting i have read in september 3209 pages and 2,336 pages in October. Whatever the months I have not DNF the book, I did listen to audiobooks, but I feel like I've listened a bit more in October. Yeah, 38 hours on average in October and 35 hours in September. But keep in mind, like, these are the length of the audiobooks, but not the speed I'm listening to the book at. At to the book. You got me? Like, if I do two times speed, I still keep the entire length of the audiobook. If that makes any sense so i am not really interested in that data specifically yes let's just talk about the books one by one first i have read this one's so a project hail mary in september i gave it five stars i loved it there is a live show because it was a book for the howl pack i will link it down below but i just love the sarcasm from the main character some parts were a bit weird but i still very much enjoyed and i was intrigued all along i don't think it is a perfect five stars but it's like a very high four star it's like five stars because I enjoyed it and even the tiny bits that did not make sense kind of there is no way to go around them there is no way to make make them a bit different or whatever so I feel like it was absolutely working I enjoyed it I love the first one as well so uh the other one that I've read I forgot the name now oh it's like uh, something Mars my Morris Morris Martian that's the one. Regarding Martian, I would definitely recommend the audiobook. For this one, I have not listened to the audiobook, so I don't know. But I heard some mixed feelings regarding the audiobook, that it was good, but not, maybe not for everyone. But I love the book, so I would definitely recommend this. It's like an easy sci-fi if you are looking for adult sci-fi and get into it. Yes, the main character is going to share like tons of like sci-fi-ish facts, you know, science facts and everything, but you don't really need to understand them in order to enjoy the story. But keep in mind that if you love to understand things, this might bother you a bit because there is a lot of facts and science and thingies. But I would definitely recommend it. It's like what I would say an easy sci-fi. So, yeah. Then Kings of the Wild, I give it 3.5 stars. Again, there is a live show for it. I will link it down below, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. But I actually enjoyed it, but there were many things that I did not enjoy or that were not for me, like the jokes, a bit... I, I don't know. But also, I could not... It's not that I could not relate to anything. It was like a bunch of dudes uh, working together, doing things together. And I actually got that vibe and I enjoyed that vibe and I enjoyed reading about them. I did not understand everything because this is not the type of conversations I have, the topics I have or I talk to about or whatever. But it was still enjoyable to read about their dynamic and everything. And I feel like it was well fleshed out but i was not like 100 percent involved in what was happening so that's why 3.5 it's not very decent so five stars uh there is also a live show that i'm gonna link down below absolutely amazing amazing magic system so basically you have a main character who can actually talk to things and do things and there is something happening and she goes on a quest and she has to do something for a certain someone and she has that extra power that's gonna help her do things and it's getting so much more intense it is adult fantasy and the magic system is so interesting so unique unique because i have personally never heard of anything like that never read anything like that so if you know what i usually read you will know that it's different from all of these like popular fantasy or whatever books i have picked up and also it is adult but it's very easy to actually dive into that book and to actually start reading it and not being able to put it down because it was that addictive i've already read the sequel it was a five stars and uh, i mean that's the book i've read in in october i can already say it so the sequel to this one which is shortfall here i um 
Give it five stars too. Ooh, now I'm noticing the difference in the covers. This one is plasticky, while well, this one is velvet. Ooh, yeah, this one is chrome. This one is Del Rey. Ooh, interesting. I did not notice it before now. But yeah, so I would definitely recommend it. Even the the the, the third book, I'm sure it's gonna be a five stars. We are all enjoying it for the read along queens. So we're reading it for the read along queens, and every single one of us is enjoying it. And so many people enjoyed it as well. So many people are looking forward to the rest of the series. I just it's something that is very different from your usual fantasy. If you have read similar things to I, of course. Keeper of the Lost City, so Legacy number eight. I gave it four stars. There is also a live show for it that, that I will link down below. Oh my gosh, I did so many live shows. Apparently, I read only for live shows. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm, as every single time, I'm saying that I'm getting more and more involved in our characters and everything that were that was happening. And also, we got some big revelations in that one that I'm happy about because we got them, and I feel like it was time for us to actually get some answers to things we were like we had questions and we were at that point in the series book eight we were like okay now it's time to answer a few questions and that's what happened and i was very happy about it so yes we have also read eight on five books so unlocked which is also uh four stars for me almost five stars just because i really much enjoyed the way it was written because you have basically the first part of the book is a encyclopedia about all the creatures from that world but also you have a list of the abilities the skills you have a description or some files regarding some of the characters you have so many informations regarding so many things even the food in that world and at the end you had like a novella thingy a short um story i mean it's still 200 pages so it's not that short but it is regarding our characters as well but you have to read it up to eight so this is a kind of 8.5 book so 0.5 book that you actually need to read in order to continue the series because major spoilers in that part that if you haven't read it when you're going to pick up book nine you will not understand what where that info is coming from at least i think it depends how it is introduced in book nine but there are things you need to know from uh that book and i really enjoyed the whole concept of that book and i feel like it appeared at the right time in the series to give us a little break for some things and to also give us another perspective because we usually follow like uh, the, our main characters uh sophie's point of view but here we got a little bit of keith's point of view which i feel was well done I did continue with Lock and Key. This is number five, so I still have one left. Five stars. I just love how dark and bloody and horror-ish the graphic novels are compared to the show. I have listened to this one and listened to the sequel of that one, which is The Box in the Woods. I listened to both of them while driving, actually, to Bosnia. Uh, I give them both four stars because I really enjoyed them. I feel like I really loved the first one. It was still four stars and five stars. Then the second one let me down a little bit because I felt like it was a bit too repetitive and blah, 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 blah. But I really enjoyed the third one and the fourth one a bit more than the second one. I don't know for what reason. But there is actually a fifth one coming out. I don't know if it has already been released or it's coming out to, you know, something like that. But I'm definitely intrigued and I love our characters. It's basically like a murder mystery of some kind. Our main character goes to a special school because she is obsessed with anything like murder-ish. She wants to investigate, etc, etc. And there is some kind of mystery in that school regarding the, the owner, the creator and his daughter and wife and everything. Something happened and she goes there and she wants to solve that mystery. And she, it goes way beyond that because other things are happening in the school with the other characters and everything. And I just loved it because it's full of little clues and I, I, I'm just having a fun time with it. Five stars for my reread of Not the Light, which is the first one in his dark materials, Golden Compass. I'm listening. I'm not listening. I'm, I, was I listening? I cannot remember. I think I was listening while reading it physically and enjoying the illustrations because I got the illustrated editions and uh, it's all gorgeous it's like oops i hit myself it's it's so gorgeous so yeah i give it five stars because it's full of nostalgia but honestly i don't feel it's bad or anything i know a few people don't enjoy it 
as much so it's maybe a part of nostalgia but i feel like even if it's not perfect there are books that just aged way worse than this one so yeah and i'm currently reading this one because this is the second one i mean i need to read it for uh the live show winterback live show so yeah and then the third one i i'm so happy i got the illustrated editions because it was also like a gamble i'm gonna get the illustrated editions because they're gorgeous blah blah, blah but what if i ended up hitting that reread Hopefully that did not happen, at least so far, so that's good. The other book I need to read, finish, I don't know if I will have time to read it before the end of the month. I'm filming this on the last day of the month uh, of October, so I don't know if I will be finished with it, but Into the Drowning Deep, I started it, um, but I need to restart it, so yeah. I've also read October October I give it three stars like 3.5 or something I expected it to be like a fantasy of some kind but it's actually more of a contemporary it's basically the story of a little girl who lives with her dad in the forest in the wilderness like one hour two hours from London UK something like that and wait now I'm like is it London UK or London Ontario Canada I don't know so she lives there in the wilderness with her dad everything goes fine she doesn't really have a mom i mean she has a mom but her mom uh just got back to the city because she cannot handle the wilderness she doesn't love the wild she doesn't love being in the forest and whatever uh one day something is going to happen to her dad and she's going to have to stay a little bit with her mom and that's pretty much the story of everything i enjoyed it it was emotional but it's not exactly what i was expecting because i expected the fantasy so mixed thoughts then i gave this one four stars this is the language of thorns this is a, a book by heather fawcett who has written also another duology uh all the wandering lights even the dark stars which i absolutely adored love it was cute it was a fun ride i had a good time reading it nothing really to complain about i was just not loving it and not 100% invested in what was going on I was not scared regarding all the characters but basically is uh if I remember well it's the story of a girl who has some kind of power and she has to help her brother and make sure that he doesn't get lost in the power that he has as well or something like that yeah it is that so forced into exile on an enchanted moving island ex-princess noah marchena has two missions to reclaim her family's stolen throne and ensure that dark powers her older brother julian possesses don't go to his head in the process so it was also like really about family what you should do what you did not do how far you should go to help your family and everything it had very interesting topics i felt like it was also heartwarming and everything so i loved it i mean i enjoyed it very very much it did not love it but i enjoyed it and the cover is gorgeous but yeah that's it was that's actually it for what i have read in september and october let me know what you have read recently what was your favorite book please favorite book most disappointed read more surprise read anything you feel like sharing them below to the rest of the bag but yeah well thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack talk to me in the comment section as usual and until next time take care wolves. bye